Good morning, family, and welcome back to Mocha Eats TV. I wanted to bring to you a quick one as an update. This is from last night, and yes, thank you, Jesus. They are standing at attention. So happy Resurrection Day to you all, and I hope you have a blessed day. So I am going to attempt to have some collard greens so these are just my little small batch of greens that I'm going to cut off so family I want to thank you thank you thank you I love you so very much and thank you so very much for your support I could not do this without you so I have many more plants to plant but not at this moment I'm going to get into the kitchen and start cooking all right, family, I have some sweet potatoes that I'm going to put in the crock pot. I have some mashed potatoes that I'm going to prepare. I have some cranberry beans that I will prepare. And the little bit of greens that I did pick, I couldn't find any more. No one has any more. I waited too late. And I'm not sure I may do this winter blend or just some regular broccoli I'm not sure but let me go ahead and get things started all right family I'm gonna cut up some more potatoes but I wanted to say the skins skins compost baby compost everything compost these here more plants so that was just a tip all right this was about four small to medium sized potatoes and i'm going to sprinkle in the cinnamon that's probably about a tablespoon and a half dash of salt and two tablespoons of butter i'm going to let these potatoes cook down in the crock pot before i add my glaze and this is about two and a half tablespoons of butter. And the water. About a third cup of water. Put this on high and let it do its thing. Check it in an hour. I'm going to this time add a little nutmeg and I'll check my potatoes in about 30 minutes because I need to stir them. Next up. Let's go ahead and get these peeled and removed out of the pods and washed. This is what the beans look like. And so I have grown these before. I will set aside some out to grow again. This is what the pods look like. Compost. Easiest way to open the pod is take your fingernail and just peel it open. It's very easy and soft. All right, here's my beans and into the crock pot is going to go. Here's the little beans that I am going to keep to go ahead and grow, plant. I'm just going to put some Bidea Complete Seasoning. Okay, a little bit of Dash Original garlic powder, onion powder. black pepper, about a half tablespoon of olive oil, and water, and water, just to cover the beans, fourth teaspoon of better than bouillon, this stuff is amazing family, if you've never tried it, you need to get you some Walmart Publix and these are ready to be put on check them in an hour time for the mashed potatoes and you're just going to cook those as directed if by chance this is just a tip that you're watching your sodium Walmart's brand and the Idahoan classic, I believe. Potatoes have the lowest sodium that I have found. This has 20 milligrams of sodium, and I think Idahoan has 15, and maybe 20, I'm not sure. 
just a tip if you are cooking and someone is allergic to or does not like butter or margarine you can always use olive oil family just a tip all right family potatoes are done all right another side i'm going to add to this is a corn casserole and you've seen me make this there are the ingredients and i'm going to go ahead and get it whipped up so if you've never made corn casserole family here's a recipe on the side of the box and but theirs is called spoon bread casserole so i think i'm going to use those measurements which is a cup and a half of jiffy mix can of whole kernel corn drained can of cream style corn cup of sour cream i'm going to mix this again instead of butter melt it you can use olive oil just like that fam and a half a cup half a cup in blend whisking two eggs into the mixture and mix add a little sweetness about two tablespoons of white sugar make sure you pour this into a greased casserole dish bake for 375 for 35 to 40 minutes all right so now i am adding onions peppers and celery to my beans and stir since they are almost done the vegetables will be crunchy aren't those beautiful i may add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken this up i think that's what i may do and that'll be a fourth of a teaspoon all right family this does complete my easter resurrection dinner so i hope you like this content if you have not already subscribed just what are you waiting for so i thank you again for your support because family i cannot do this without you so thank you again and i will see you in the next video peace